Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome to Fahad's tutorial once again. And in this tutorial, uh, in this tutorial is the second tutorial of this uh, playlist, which is about the reflection of light. In my previous tutorial, I explained about uh, the nature of light and some primary discussions about the reflections of light. So, as we are studying about reflections, we need to know about mirror first. As because uh, in the next videos or next part of this chapter is discussed about how image is formed and there are some mathematical problems that we need to solve and before that we need to know first what is mirror so if I define mirror then we can say that a mirror is a highly polished highly polished plane surface so that is a very good thing that what is polished and why it need to be polished so the mirror is a highly polished plane surface where or on which regular reflections. So as you know that in my previous video I already explained and you might know that reflections are two types. That is regular or uniform reflection and other part is the diffused or irregular reflections. So usually when we talk about a mirror we must know that there are plane surface and there will be regular reflections. So simply and the definition definitions of mirror we can say that the plane I mean, the mirror is a highly polished plane surface on which regular reflections will take place. Fine. So what we know think about a glass, a piece of glass. Suppose if I just put it here a piece of glass I can I can't see you from you that from this part that I can see you because this is a refracted part and this is very transparent I can see you through this process so if this is a glass and in this other part if I make a polish uh, with a metal polish through uh, mercury or silver then if I start like that then I can watch myself we can and the, what, what we do actually in the day to day life through the mirror, we can see ourselves. And when we see in the mirror that we can see our image. So that image, we are watching it from this play because it was actually polished in the other part. And then the glass becomes mirror. So when glass becomes mirror, when a transparent surface is acting like a mirror, when the other part would be polished or other word would be dark something like stopped so that is the metal polish is done in the other part of the glass and that metal polish uh, done by mercury or silver so this polish is done by silver or mercury and the process of this metal polish is known as silvering so we can say this is silvery okay and now what's going on when incident ray as we know that from the previous video you can say this the incident ray is falling in the surface and then it coming back so it coming back and this is actually the reflection and you see the perpendicular line from here if I say this is M and this is O this is A and B, then we can say that AO is the incident ray that actually incident in the point of incident of the mirror which is O and OB is the reflected ray. So and of course ON is the normal that is the perpendicular to the surface and of course we say this is the incident angle and this is the reflected angle that is the just a recap of the previous video. But how many types of mirror are there? So if I say the types, that simply we must know that mirror can be two types. Number one, plain mirror, plain, this one, plain mirror, which is actually the surface is uh, plain. And definitely we know that in mirror, regular reflections will take place. So the plain mirror, those the reflectant is plain. And the second one is the spherical mirror. So we can say this is the spherical mirror, and this can be this can be two types. The spherical mirror can be two types. 
Now, why these two types will occur? The types is, we can say the first one is concave, concave, and the second one is convex mirror. Why? Because that is spherical mirror, because this mirror is the part of a sphere. How come? Think about this is a spherical part. Okay, simply spherical part, and this is the center of the sphere. Okay, so if I take few parts of it from this way, from this way, okay, and then, and then, if if a silver here in the other part of this sphere, and then if I vanish the rest of the part that I didn't take then this simple part that is silver, the mercury of the silver that is silvery, it will become a mirror, it will become a spherical mirror and simply it will become a concave mirror. That's because we need to know what are the convex and concave part. So if in my hands, if I say it acts like a very plain page, so it's a plain mirror, if I make it simple like the sphere types, then you see this part is like a cave, cave. So this part is concave, and this part is convex. So this part is concave. So if I silvering in this part, so in this surface will act as a mirror, and this is the convex mirror. So this is the convex mirror, and if I make a silvering in this surface. So this surface will act as a mirror and this is concave mirror. So this is convex, this is concave. Convex, concave. So here you see in the other part, in the convex part was silvering. So it was the convex part and this is the concave part. Concave part. So this is a concave mirror. And what will happen here? So if I just joined the point of incidence or the part of it and then make a join, then we can have another idea that how it will act. Think in another way. Suppose this is another sphere and this is the point. Okay. So if I take this part and this part and I remove and the silvering was done in this other side now you think what will happen this part will act as a mirror so if i join together and make an enlargement and if i remove the other part then we'll have a convex mirror so this is actually concave part the concave part and this one is convex part so now you see which is the reflected angle, or reflected part of this, this side. So as the convex side is working as a reflector, so this would be a convex mirror and this is concave mirror. Think about it. Here the silvering side is this and here the silvering side in this way. So this is concave mirror and what will happen in this concave mirror if if the parallel beam is falling into the concave mirror after reflecting from the spherical mirror they will converge into a same point same point so what is the nature of the concave mirror after reflecting all the reflected rays becoming converges so becoming convergent so they are converging in a point as this mirror is known as converging mirror so we can say this is converging converging mirror okay i hope you understand that why it's called converging because it's like fusing all the beams, all the light, all the rays together so they are meeting each other in a point 
and most importantly this point is known as the focus okay what will be here I mean, what's going on here as because the other part is the reflectant part so if I enlarge the line and if I say this is the parallel line this is the parallel line and they won't they won't meet each other after reflections they will be divergent they will be I mean scattered they will be divergent and they will never meet again after the reflections so they will be like this so after this what is the actual concept here so this is the incident ray and this is the reflected ray that means they, they are diverging from their point that is why the convex mirror is known as the diverging mirror so we can say this is converging and this is diverging mirror this is diverging mirror so I hope you understand that why the convex mirror is known as diverging mirror and the concave mirror known as the converging mirror. So I hope you understand the concept of converging or the convergent convergent mirror and the divergent mirror because they are doing the just opposite. So what's going on in spherical mirror? Spherical mirror is simply is acting that if you incident if the incident rays are parallel, so that after reflections they will be same parallel. So it's the complete example of uh, regular reflections. This is also regular reflections, but as they are the part of sphere, so either the concave mirror will act as converging mirror and the convex mirror will be acting as a diverging mirror. So I hope you understand. The types of mirrors here why it's converging and why it's diverging so this is very simple explanations about a mirror and I'm making this tutorial very short because um, I can explain the whole things in a same tutorial but uh, I, I'm making it part by part so that those people that who want specific class can have the views from specific videos from watching the titles and the thumbnails of the videos so I'm doing my level best for you as because a student of English versions all levels um, are searching for some things and I'm here to help you from my level best so that is very simple I just explained the, uh, the definitions of mirror first so you must know that a mirror is a highly polished plane surface on which regular reflection will take place it's two types plane mirror and spherical mirror and spherical mirror is two types concave and convex and the next tutorial i can explain and i'm coming up with another video while where there's some quantities and some topics that will be discussed and that is very important to know regarding this so take care stay well and uh, study well see you soon